This video provides an overview of the XSeeker 8000 Benchtop X-Ray Computed Tomography Software. On startup, the simple software interface contains a real-time 2D X-Ray display of your sample, alongside the scan parameters. After X-ray irradiation, the 2D X-ray image is shown on screen in the image display area. The stage rotation is initiated using the mouse. The green line indicates the position of the rotation center axis of the stage. The purple line indicates the window center line. The X-ray transmission level and CT scan area of the sample can be confirmed. A 2D X-ray image can be seen in the preview display window. The image magnification is indicated on the upper right-hand corner of the window. The display frame shows the portion of the image in the live display. The image quality adjustment window allows the user to quickly adjust brightness of the currently displayed image. The minimum and maximum grayscale values can be adjusted by dragging these two lines. In the System Settings menu, the user can check the rotary stage position using the top-down view, as well as the field of view in the XYZ directions. Finally, in the Scan Settings menu, the user can easily select from a series of the pre-programmed scan conditions. In fast mode, the complete scan can be acquired in approximately 12 seconds. In fine mode, projection data with higher spatial resolution can be acquired in about 5 minutes. The proprietary high-speed reconstruction algorithm allows CT data to be displayed quickly after scanning is complete. Once the scan is complete, the observation window appears. There is a side-by-side -side view of the cross-sectional images, seen on the left, and the volume rendering window, seen on the right. The folder path, as well as the capture button and image information, are located on the top panel bar. In the multi-planar reconstruction MPR window, cross-sectional images can be viewed. Four unique images are displayed. The z-axis slice image of the sample can be seen on the top left. The blue line in the top right and bottom left windows represents the slice position. The red and green lines can be dragged to set the oblique images. At the top right of the window, the oblique image is displayed. This is the cross-section represented along the red line. At the bottom left, the oblique image represented by the green line can be seen. Finally, at the bottom right, the double oblique image, which is represented by the orange line, is seen. These red, green, and orange lines can be freely manipulated to display image planes of interest. The image can be digitally magnified by using the scroll wheel on the mouse. Dimension measurements can be performed by right-clicking and dragging on the selected image. The brightness and contrast of the cross-sectional images can be adjusted with the histogram in the Image Quality menu. The Volume Rendering Viewer on the right-hand side displays a three-dimensional representation of CT volumetric data. In the Volume Rendering Viewer, the image can be rotated and magnified using the mouse. The Volume Rendering menu offers several settings. Under Rendering, the user can select different rendering algorithms. The slice planes may be selected and displayed in the Volume Rendering image. The colors correspond to the slice positions in the cross-sectional images. The Clipping function allows the user to select, display, and hide specific areas. The measurement function allows the user to perform dimension and angle measurements on the volume rendering image. 
The CT volume data can be converted into STL format that is frequently used for 3D printing and computer-aided design applications. Thank you for watching. To learn more about Shimadzu's CT scanners, please visit our website, shimadzumaterialscience.com.